Hey, my good brothers today, God bless you richly. What a day to be alive today. We are excited about life itself. And if you're not doing it, I challenge you, live today. Come on, let's live again. Get up, no matter what's going on around you, live today for the glory of God. We've been talking about 2 Kings chapter 11 and a story about a wicked woman named Athaliah. Her son was the king, Ahaziah. And uh, after he died, she arose and destroyed all what the scripture calls the royal seed. She was killing her own grandchildren, shockingly. But there was a leadership vacuum, and she wanted that authority. She wanted that leadership. I want to tell you, don't let anybody take your place and your authority to do what you were called to do. And the way she did that was... She was going to destroy his influence that was in his seed or his children. There, because he was a king and they were his offspring, they were all called royal or kingly seed. She destroyed all of them except one. How many know there's always a remnant? There's always something left when it looks like everything else has failed, everything's gone, and nothing's going to work. The Bible says uh, that uh, Ahaziah the king had a daughter too. Her name was uh, Jehoshaphat. And she took one of uh, Ahaziah's children, Joash, and before the grandmother got to him and murdered him, she hid him away in a secret bedchamber in the house of God. And she put in there a nursemaid with him to take care of her. And verse 3 says, 2 Kings 11, He was with her, in, with the nurse, in the house of the Lord for six years. During that time, Athaliah, the wicked grandmother, reigned over the land. But in the seventh year, Jehoiada sent and fetched the rulers and the captains and the guards, brought them to the house of God, and showed them the king's son. You know, what a surprise. Because for six years, Athaliah, the wicked grandmother, thought that the church was shut down, the worship was shut down, but little did she know there was a hidden royal seed stuck away in the house of God, and it was about to change everything. There's a royal seed inside you guys. It's going to be revealed. This is your seventh year. God bless you.